think that's a horrible idea? Good. Oh, you think that's a horrible idea too? Great. Everybody, welcome to another episode of Windshield Wisdom. Yours, Brutally here. I uh, just touched on this subject in the last episode in the playlist, which is titled, Would You Like Fries With That Lap Dance? Um, how's that for tease and intrigue? You know, if you haven't watched that episode, you'll want to go back and check that out. But um, I touched on this idea of bouncing ideas off of people and the value of it at the end of that video and I decided you know what that topic deserves its own video so here we are so you think that's a bad idea good that is the approach the late great Walt Disney took with just about every uh, concept, ride, uh, attraction, amenity that he had at Walt Disney World. Anytime he sat in a meeting with his staff and six, seven, eight, ten people in the room disagreed with him or told him something was a bad idea or it was too risky or it'll never fly instead of crossing that idea out crossing it off the list and not doing it that made him double down and want to do it even more it, it sold him his people's um, what's the word I'm looking for opposition uh, they're objecting to a concept an idea a new business enterprise validated what he was thinking and I think that his success is undeniable right I think there's so much wisdom in that one particular strategy everyone can benefit from you don't need to be a creator or creative like Walt Disney you certainly don't need to own operating amusement park you just need, need to have a human brain that works and be an independent thinker who does not follow the herd you are followed by the herd and here's what I mean it takes courage to do what he did most people when they hear opposition uh, will change what they're doing say oh yeah you see there it doesn't have the social proof that I need it's not um, there's no proof of concept and it's not very valid that's most people and if you think about average the mean um, our population our society as a whole there's a whole lot of mediocrity when you have consensus but the people who are willing to put themselves out there, who are willing to go against conventional thinking, who take a stance and believe in the courage of their convictions and their idea, and are willing to risk both financially and risk public embarrassment or shame, their reputation, uh, those are the ones that get ahead, like Disney. So the next time you bounce ideas bounce ideas off your team think twice about how you respond to that feedback uh, think twice about how you handle the early public perception of something because if you rule something out due to popular opinion you might be flushing money down the toilet you may have eliminated a great idea that someone else might go ahead and take and execute. So think twice. And I think the reason a lot of people voice opposition against something is number one, it wasn't their idea. Number two, they heard a couple other people 
voice opposition against it first, so they jump on the bandwagon. No one wants to be the lone voice out there. Uh, number three, they uh, do never have the courage to put themselves out there and do that thing themselves. So it wasn't their idea. They jumped on a bandwagon and they really just lacked the courage to ever do it themselves. And there's also fear of success. What if we do this since a huge hit and it outshines something I thought of? It outshines one of my projects. You know, it's that scarcity mindset instead of an abundance mentality. It's a fear of success. What if? There are no guarantees in life. Uh, but I do believe a rising tide raises all ships. And if you're in a team environment, roll the dice, take some chances. Support the people who do. And you think about all the opposition that Disney faced and overcame time and time again. People told him a mouse was a horrible, horrible character to use as a mascot or as a central uh, a central character in even just a black and white animated cartoon, never mind an entire empire. So think twice before you follow the advice of others. I can't tell you how many times people told me something was a horrible idea it turned out to work out really well for me. If I had just listened to them, not so much. So I would encourage you to um, keep an idea journal. Instead of just bouncing ideas off of other people and eliminating them, at first blush, because people thought it was not smart, too dangerous, uh, would not be popular. Uh, bet on yourself. Place a, uh, even if it's just a small bet, bet on yourself. That it is a good idea, that it could be viable. And execute it. You might be pleasantly surprised. When I mean, when I say might be, I mean you're almost certain to be pleasantly surprised. You know, the great Dan Kennedy, who is uh, perhaps the greatest, one of the greatest copywriters and direct response marketers to ever walk the earth and grace us with his presence, uh, often said the best thing you can do from a business standpoint, strategy-wise, uh, with anything, is defile the norms of your industry. Take a look at what everyone else in your industry is doing um, that is considered the norm or is even just simply is normal in appearance in thought and philosophy and go ahead and do the exact opposite and there's a lot of wisdom in that too why because if you're doing the same thing everyone else is doing number one you're going to get the same results again we go back to like average mediocrity the norm the mean you know um if you're getting the same results as everyone else, you're not going to stand out. Number two, if you do the exact opposite of what everyone else is doing, uh, you will stand out. Uh, first, they'll think you're crazy. Um, then it'll be remarkable, simply meaning people will indeed, in fact, remark about it. And then it'll be remarkable in another way. It'll be exceptional people will see the value of it uh, if you're not different you're invisible today there's a whole lot of average it's an epidemic in our society in our country um, be the exception and when you're the exception you're exceptional do the opposite of what everyone else is doing and you can't go wrong you really can't go wrong that concludes another episode of windshield wisdom uh, if you enjoyed my insights and the strategy go ahead like uh, comment and subscribe below uh, click that little arrow the, the share button 
and share this up uh, either on social media or directly uh, via email uh, with someone you think could appreciate this and needs to hear this message. Uh, and then lastly, head on over to coachbrew.com, sign up at the top of my page uh, for my e-newsletter. Number one, you're going to get a great gift. It's a $99 value. It is uh, a special report called 12 Ways to Double Your Sales, Double Your Results, which I guarantee you, you implement just one of those 12 strategies and you will double your results. Um, and that special report is actually a preview, a sample platter, if you will, of what the members of my membership community receive each and every month. Uh, it's a premium newsletter that my inner circle receives. It's a $99 a month value, and you get that one, uh, one issue for free. Head on over, check that out. You won't be disappointed. It's coachbrew.com. That's all I got for you. Until next time, uh, this has been Windshield Wisdom. Have a great day. Make it a great day.